Hello friends, welcome back. My name is PK. In this video, you will learn how to create spark lines in Power BI. So as you are seeing my screen, I have created spark lines for unit sold by date and revenue by date here in this matrix. I have created a small bar and this line here also on the card. I will explain you how you can create this and it is connected with this date slicer. If I will change the date range, then here you can see it is getting changed. Alright friends, so now I will explain you how we can create this. So let's jump to the Power BI desktop application. So this is the page which I have created and I will show you the data also. I have used the sales data here. So let me open the data. So in this data we have sales data table wherein we have date wise, employee wise and product wise unit sold. Then we have the product master wherein we have the product ID, product name and price per unit. Then we have the employee master wherein we have the employee ID, employee name and the supervisor of the employee. Now let me open a new PBIX file. So I'll tell you from the starting. So let's press Ctrl N. So this is new PBIX file. Now here I will click on get data from Excel. So Select the sales data, click on open. So we have these three tables, select employee master, product master and sales data. Let's click on load. So as you will click on load, automatically it will load the data here. We are not doing any transformation, so I'm not using the power query. Now let's go to the data model. So here you can see it has created automatically data model and the relationship. Between employee master and sales data, it's created on the basis of employee ID and here on the basis of product ID. Alright, so let's move on to the report part. And here in the sales data, first we will create a new measure which will be revenue. And revenue will be unit sold multiply price per unit in every line. Then we will take the sum of that. So what I will do, I'll use a major here. So click on new major. Major will be revenue. And I will use here sum x function on the sales data table. So let's go to the sales data. And in the expression, we will put unit sold of the sales data multiply price per unit available in product master. So I'll use here related function because it's available in different related table and here I will use the price per unit that is from product master. I'll just close the bracket, click on this check button. So we have created this revenue major. Let's move on to this sales data table. It has been created in employee master. So you can just go to the major tool and here select the sales data. So it has been moved to the sales data. All right, so now we will start our visualization. So let's create the first top header. So let's go to the insert and let's take a save, the save. Okay, you can change the color if you want. So let's go to the style. From here, you can choose any color. Let's say I'm taking this one. Then go to the text box. And just type here your title of the dashboard but here I'm putting spark line in power bi make it bigger let's say 36 align center font color let's take white we will remove the background also select this text box and then go to the effects and just off this background then move this here now we will go to the shape and we will take this rectangle rounded rectangle here make it slightly smaller and just keep this here let's go to the shape and here the rounded corner is 25 percent let's take only five percent and now we will add a card here so just click on this card and this card we will show the revenue so let's put revenue in the field so here you can see it is showing the revenue now let's go to the format your visual part for this card call out value i will take here size 25 and color make it white then go to the category level and color make it white 
Now we will remove the background. So I'll go to the journal effect and I will off this background. I will move this card here over this shape. Now we will create here small spark lines. To create the spark line over the card, what I will do, I'll go to this cluster column chart. Just click here. And over this column chart, I will take the revenue in the buy axis and date in the x axis. Now just click here on this arrow and take the date in place of date hierarchy. So it will look like this. Now I will go to the format your visual and from here I will just off the x axis and the y axis. Make sure we are offing the title of the x and y axis also. So just expand this x axis, scroll down and off the title. Similarly for the y axis of the title. And we will remove the title of the chart also. So just go to the uh, journal part of format your visual and go to the effects. First, uh, remove the background from here and then off this title also. Now we will change the color of the bar. So we will take the white color because we will put on the blue background. So go to the visual and here we will go to the columns. And the default color we will take white now move this here make it slightly smaller like this all right so it will look like this now select this shape card and this chart right click and make them group so this is one group now go to home and copy this and just paste this we have a copy of this so we will keep the copy here and in this card we will show unit sold in place of revenue and similarly here we will convert this chart into line chart first and then in place of revenue we will show unit sold let's move the unit sold here then go to the format your visual and scroll it down in the lines we will take the color as white so our line will look like this all right so we have these two visual now we can show some other information also like we have displayed top five employees so i have created this tree map for top five employees so i will use here employee name in the category and revenue in the values now i will go to the filter pane and here i will go to the employee name and i will select top n and I will put here 5 to select the top 5 and by revenue. So move the revenue here and click on apply filter. So it is showing top 5 employee. Skip this here. You can rename the title. So you can go to the format your visual channel section title. Here you can put top 5 employee by revenue. Okay. So we have these three visuals. Now we will create a slicer to filter the dates so go to the visualization pen and click on this slicer now go to the sales data and move the date here in the field so it has created automatic slicer make it slightly smaller now select this slicer go to the format your visual go to the slider and make the color as black this one and then you can go to the general section and here in the general section you can go to the properties scroll down advanced option and uh, it is responsive so make it off so it will look like this you can change the range of the dates so these two charts will be changed and you can format this also so let's take the some background here from these facts so let's take some light blue background like this now go to the visual part and values and let's take the values in the black color and uh, background take white this one all right now we will create a matrix or table here so let's create a matrix i have taken this matrix first we are showing the product name so put the product name in the rows now we are taking the supervisor name in the column so let's take the supervisor name here then revenue and unit sold here in the value so let's take the unit sold here so it is showing the unit sold by the supervisor 
we have added the spark line also for the unit sold as well as for the revenue and to add the spark line what you can do you can just click on this down arrow and here you will see add a spark line option if this option is not available in your power bi let me show you my version of the power bi go to the help and about here you can see i'm using the april 2022 version if your version is old please update your power bi first then as of now this feature is in preview feature you can on this from the preview feature go to the file option and setting options then here in this options window go to the preview features and make sure you have enabled this spark line option once you will enable this then it will appear in this option add a spark line as well as it will appear in the insert when you will select a table or metric then you will see this add spark line option so let's add it from here so just click on this unit shield and click on add spark line then this add a spark line window will be popped up here on the y axis automatically it is showing the unit shield because we have click on the unit shield otherwise if you will use this option then you need to select from here and in the x axis we will select the date because we want to show it by date so let's select here date this one create as you click you can see this unit showed by date has been created you can format this so you can go to the format your visual you will see the spark lines option here and now you will see the option in this drop down because we have the spark line only for the unit showed by date so it is showing only one if you will add more you will see more so let me add one more then i will show you so let's add the revenue also here so revenue is there you can see now add the spark line for the revenue also add a spark line for revenue and select x axis this date create so we have created unit showed by date as well as revenue by date all right for each supervisor now I will go to the format your visual and here you can see these two options unit sold by date and revenue by date. Let's format this unit sold by date select like this. Now the chart type you can create the line as well as the column. If you will select the column it will show the column chart. So I have kept it line for the unit sold. Now you can change the color also for the line. So let's select any color. Let's say I'm taking this yellow color. You can select as per your understanding. You can change the width of the line also. And you can enable the markers also. So it is not showing the marker for the unit showed by date. But I want to let's say highlight the highest point. As I will click, it will show the highest point. You can change the color of the marker also. Let's say I want to show the highest point in green color, something like this. So you can choose a green color here it will be in the green color you can change the type of the marker also let's say i want to show this square then it will show this square and the size of the marker also you want to show it bigger or you want to show smaller all right similarly we can format the another spark line revenue by date let's say i want to take here columns so when i will select the column you can change the color also so let's say i'm going to take this color then here you can see the color has been changed for the columns for columns we have only these options all right friends so friends that is how you can use these spark lines as of now we have some limitation for this spark line that we can use only 52 data points in this spark line and we have some limitation of the columns although in a matrix we can show only 20 columns as of now but probably in future it can be improved and you may add more data points. Alright friends, I hope you have enjoyed this video. Friends, if you like this video, please hit the like button and please subscribe my channel to get the regular update of my videos. Thank you so much for watching.